Hello, in this video we will demonstrate the Smart MV20 Multiviewer System. Smart is a 24-7 DVB monitoring product. Including an enhanced multiviewer and alarm notification, Smart MV20 runs on a one-rack unit supermicro system. Let's have a look at the hardware specification. Hardware parts may change nowadays, we recommend parts that are equivalent or better than the specified parts mentioned here. The Supermicro 5019C is used as a base system with an Intel 6-core E2286G processor on board. All decoding is done on the GPU, we recommend a GeForce 1050 from NVIDIA. Let's have a look at the features. The basic function of the Smart is to keep an eye on your DVB input streams, that can be either SPTS or MPTS. It will check your streams against the specified requirements of Etsy TR290. And additionally, checks on black frames, freeze frames, audio silence, EPG information, loudness, subtitling, SCTE35 PSISI and much more. All alarms are shown in the user interface, as well as indicated in color on the multiviewer. This is an example of a multiviewer output, the layout is fully configurable. The Smart Multiviewer shows all video tiles with service names, multi-channel and multi-track audio VU meters with language indication, digital and analog clocks. Colored indication in case minor or severe alarms occur. Smart supports up to 25 alarm levels. The Smart Multiviewer supports Teletext View, as well as Teletext and DVB subtitles. The multiviewer can be shown over multiple HDMI outputs on your video wall, or you can send it as a multicast stream over your network. If you like, you can extend the stream with a streaming engine in order to view the multiview on any device anywhere over internet. Now we will demonstrate the configuration of the monitoring part. The smart user interface can be started from the device itself, or from remote via the Smart Solo Control application. The user interfaces remote or local are identical. Select to add TS in order to create a new input feed, this can be either MPTS or SPTS. Enter the input settings, like, IP address and port. In this sample a file input is selected. Smart directly starts analyzing the input feeds, and shows all data, like PSI SI information, and the audio and video streams. The views on the right side show all detailed information. First the alarm overview lists all alarms of the selected item, in this case all alarms in this transport stream. The PSI SI information is parsed to a readable format, you can zoom in on each level, and you can even analyze in hex or binary view. The bitrate view on transport stream level can be shown in PI or stacked format. The PID overview shows all available PIDs, ghost PIDs are indicated with an icon. TS services shows all services and components with bitrate indication. The EPG view shows all events on all services within this transport stream. Gaps are shown in red, you can click on an event to see more details. The alarm settings view shows a read-only view of all current alarm settings with their thresholds. The TR290 view shows the current overall health status of the transport stream. If you select Start All Analyzers, each service will be checked against the default set of alarm measurements. You can fine-tune the default alarm set, you can create templates, or you can fine-tune each service separately. When you select a service on the left side, the right side will show all service level views. Again the alarm list shows the alarms within the selected service. We have a general info view, and the EPG view shows all events within the selected service. The PCR view shows the clock information of this service, according to the DVB specified requirements. If you select a video component, the views on the right will show particular information of this video component. PES header information is shown in the info page. And the packets view will capture transport stream packets, and show them to you in detail.
The alarm settings page shows the current alarm set in a read-only view. If you select an audio component, the views on the right will show specific audio information. Additional to the multi-viewer, it is possible to decode one additional service in a window. Select Decode this service and show display to open the display window. You can send the audio of this service over the speakers. Use the Multiviewer Preset Editor to configure the Multiviewer layout. You can use the Autofill function to create a simple tileview layout. Or you can use drag and drop to place the tiles anywhere on the screen. Thanks for watching. Visit duels.com for more information.